within that first bull run, I learned something. Never listen to the majority of people because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And I was the one that listened to the majority. And I 30x my like my portfolio at that time. I think it was worth like like 300,000. But remember, I'm like broke, right? I'm broke. And it goes up to 300,000. I pull out a loan. I remember I go to Wells Fargo. I'm excited. This is at the top of the bull run, right? When, when XRP was $3.50. Mm-hmm. And I get a loan for $15,000. I put it in. A week later, boom, everything tanks. I lose everything. I'm left with a thousand bucks. I'm like, fuck, okay. Uh, okay, what do I do now? That's my portfolio. I'm making e-commerce money. I'm doing this thing. Where I was like, bro, what did I learn? And what I realized is most people focus on the mistake instead of focusing on the lesson. Mm. And I figured out, okay, what are the lessons that I learned? What are the things that I need to take so that the next time this happens, because it's inevitable that it was going to happen again. And the reason I knew it was inevitable because it was the power of social media that was going to push this to the new generation. And I was right. So the, for the next two years, uh, I did multiple eight figures in e-commerce. Shout out to Steven Evan Tan. They really inspired me. Uh, we're now business partners in Capital Club. Now the sensei and the mentor have kind of united uh, for the global takeover. And in 2020, I put my entire net worth into crypto. Every single dollar that I had, I put into crypto in 2020. This was pre-bull run. My Everybody was like, no, dude, this is a terrible idea. This was when the, the entire thing was collapsed. Put my entire net worth into crypto. People tell me I'm crazy. I'm playing Call of Duty. And uh, Cardano, for example, hits, hits a penny, right? The entire thing tanks. I put 10 grand into Cardano. I put another $10,000 daily into Ethereum when Ethereum's $80, $90. You can go to my highlights at Luke Belmar on Instagram. It's all recorded. And then I'm like, okay. Remember, in 2017, I was buying BNB at $2, right? This was Binance. I was like, Binance is amazing. I had talked to CZ on Clubhouse a little bit before, before I got banned on that platform, obviously. <laughs> uh, I got banned twice. <laughs> and then uh, and then I, I was like, okay, I need to bet on winners. I need to bet, not on products, but I need to bet on winning people. So uh, by the way, I have the pancake swap tattoo tattered right here on my neck because I put my entire net worth into a token called PancakeSwap. I was the number 10 holder of PancakeSwap in the world at a sub $30 million market cap. And it ended up going to $2.5 billion. Shout out SafeMoon and the whole DeFi degenerate community. You guys made me wealthy, so I appreciate that. And then the second biggest play that I had was the competitor of PancakeSwap known as Bake. And I remember calling Luca Nets, I remember calling Steve Tan when it was sitting at an $8 million market cap. And in fact, I was with Luca, we rented an Airbnb for a week because we were working on an e-com project. It was $8 million. I said, Luca, you need to put 50, 60 grand, 100 grand into this shit. Like this shit's going to go. It's like, no, 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 whatever. Long story short, I put $50,000 into uh, Bake at uh, $8 million market cap and it goes to 1.6 billion. So I literally, I literally got into a unicorn level VC investment play because I understood the trend of the future. I was aware and I didn't focus on my past mistakes, but I focused on the lessons that those mistakes taught me. And during the bear market, during the season where people were complaining, they were trying to figure out how to gamble, how to make money. I knew I had my goal. I had my, I had my eye on the mission. I I knew where I was going and I was consistent. I was steady. I wasn't perfect, but I was consistent. I was steady because I knew my destination and the big takeaway for me, and this is kind of how I'm going to polish and continue refining, whether it's capital club or other endeavors in life, or even personal development, you know, whether it's your physique, whether it's your health, you need to know where you want to go. Mm-hmm. You have to know where you want to go. And if you don't know where you're going to go, just stop, dude. Just like fucking stop for a second. It's better to stop, evaluate where you're going, than move. You know, the American culture is all about action, 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 action. But most people aren't putting out actions. They're not proactive. They are reactive, right? They react to the situations that come to them instead of creating the circumstances in life that they want to see.